The Brian Mudd Show is on News Radio 610 WIOD. Mask in schools. We've talked about it extensively over the past couple of weeks. The legal battle in the state is in Leon County Court right now. On Wednesday, we should know whether the state's policy, which mandates parental choice for the wearing of masks by children in schools, whether that stands as the law in Florida or not. Meanwhile, of course, all of South Florida's school districts have mandatory masks without parental opt-outs in place. Setting up the showdown, I have heard from I don't know how many, but I mean, at a minimum, dozens of parents, including many straight through the weekend that have been frustrated about this. Here to talk about the implications, Kim Minch, and her website is reallifeparentguide.com, reallifeparentguide.com. You know, Kim, it seems like there, this has gone down typical masker or anti-mask type of lines when really... It, if you look at the data, it suggests that there's a, a much bigger conversation that, that should take place here beyond just whether somebody believes that their kids should be wearing a mask or not. Tell us a little bit about you know, some of what you've learned and you've encountered with, with kids that, that do have to wear a mask all day in the classroom. Sure. I just I want to say I think based on the situation with masks, no masks, or, or whatever, whether I, there's no long-term data, obviously, at this point about whether what the implications may be. And I think one of the most important things that parents can do is understand that their attitude about whatever it is, whether it's, you know, masks one day and the next day they're not mandated, really, really has implications on their kids and how they're going to handle it. So parents remember that, you know, what if you're stressed and upset about the ins and outs, ups and downs, that is going to affect the way that your kids are. So start, I, you know, I guess I just want to say, first and foremost, parents start thinking about, you know, how you're um, feeling about this and what words you're using and what kind of things, what kind of attitudes are going on at home, because that's going to carry out into the schools. Yeah, that's that's a good place to start for sure. And you you take a look at you know the overall potential for uh, you know mental health concerns. There, are, one of the studies I was taking a look at the National Institutes of Health's website did show that upwards of eighty one percent of kids were at least embarrassed to wear a mask all day. And then you know some actually had some physical you know concerns around twenty percent or so that actually had some physical issues like breathing issues and the like with them, but. When you when you take a look at information like that, what does that potentially mean to to a child, especially as they're trying to learn? Right. I think I think it is difficult. I think that we're not going to know right now exactly how this is affecting our kids socially with their language. I mean, depending on the age of the child. And then you've got, you know, teenagers who who covering masks with their face may, you know, hurt acne or, you know, may encourage acne and all the things that could go along with mask wearing. I, I definitely, you know, it's a tough, it's a tough subject and a tough call that I think school districts are trying to navigate, you know, and, and all the, you know, parents on this side and that side. And we all just need to, you know, kind of, I think, chill a little bit. And again, when it comes to our own kids and our own families, look at what is my perspective and what is my response and how is that affecting my kids? Because parents who are a little more easygoing and, you know, not are going to kind of go with the flow are going to have kids that are going to do, do the same thing. They're going to go more with the flow. I'm not saying there's not going to be any, you know, uh, challenge at home with it, but I would say parents who are like, hey, this is what we're doing, you know, this week. And, uh, you know, their kids are going to flow more with what's going on. You bring up an interesting point. So one of the South Florida school districts, Palm Beach County, there had been a parental opt out for mass for the first week and a half of, of school. And you had around 12,000 families that did use that opt out. So kids were not wearing masks at school. And then effective today, they're having to wear masks regardless in that district. How does that kind of change impact kids? I, again, I mean, this, it sounds like such a such such a trite answer, but it really it does go with like if everyone's going with the flow. It's I think kids are. I don't. I hate to use the word resilient because people say that all the time. But kids yeah. are going to be more amenable to what's going on if. 
the people around them, the teachers, the, you know, the staff, the their parents are more amenable to it. I mean, if if, if that's the mandate in the moment, I mean, an uproar with parents is not going to help the situation with these kids trying to learn with the masks on, right? That's not going to, yep. that's not going to, that's not going to help. Sense. It's, it's going to create an, a more toxic environment in, in the schools. And that's the last thing we want. These kids are there to learn. Unfortunately, or, you know, they, they're going to be wearing masks. That is the situation. So do the best you can as parents to keep in perspective that this is a moment and the higher picture is our kids, having a learning experience um, where the environment is conducive to that and not combative. Yeah, I think that's good advice, good guidance. Appreciate it. It's Kim Mench, her website, reallifeparentguide.com.